Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. Now we have been particularly blessed this week with a number of amazing assets. From somewhere to dip your toes in the sunshine to an ionic location in London. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. So we're going to kick off with Big Ben from Armestro. Armestro is an absolutely amazing builder and he's done some exceptional work on these type of builds already. Obviously Big Ben being the focal point or one of the focal points in London and this really does look the absolute bees and ease. Now the detail is exceptional, it looks just like the real thing and the size is also pretty much spot on for any build where you want to include this tower. And from this particular angle you can really see how detailed this church tower is. And from my experience of the workshop there's not many people who are able to have the ability to create these amazing stone type buildings. He's also done some great bridges and some cathedrals as well so by all means check out his workshop, don't miss out. Now the placing is 3x3 three three and it's under as a unique building with 4,800 tries. This is a great addition to any of your builds. Next up we have a very interesting build, it's the Jean Sport Park Sunken Stadium by Ami Plissifunk. Now if those are pronounced completely wrong I will apologise right now but the actual design of this football stadium is absolutely amazing, look at it. Sunken stadiums are not something we've actually seen before so to do something like this is an absolutely amazing and great thinking, a great idea to add to the workshop. Now another thing I love about this is it's a stadium that actually has the size of a stadium. There's a lot of stadiums on the workshop where it's all very cramped up and stadiums aren't like that. Certainly in Germany where I believe this is based. This stadium at night time as well really does come alive. An absolutely amazing asset to add to the workshop. And I also really do like the overhead floodlights. You can download those as separate items as well if you want to add or modular your own stadium together. Now this is not the first asset released by Ami, he's done a great collection of Berlin based props and assets already so by all means check him out, his work is also not to be missed. Okay, next up is P. Delmo. If you do not know who P. Delmo is, where have you been? Do you have any trees in your map? P. Delmo released a number of assets this week. I just wanted to concentrate on this particular one as it's one that I've found to be lacking on the workshop recently. And being a heavy detailer such as I am, when you're trying to create a little foresty area, you need something with a very good try count. And that is exactly what P. Delmo does. Without sacrificing detail, and aesthetics he's able to create these beautiful lush looking trees at very very low tries and not only that but there's six independent trees within this cluster making things look more realistic as not every tree is the same and as I say he released a number of new trees this week so check out his workshop and see what else was available Next we have King Leno's Shotgun Houses. Now these houses are perfect for low residential areas and there is a number of different models involved in this package. Lot sizes are one by three and as you can see there's a variety of different colors and different types of models involved, all of which are detailed to the highest possible caliber. 
Now these houses include the additional props that King Leno has built in, but it is possible to not download those to remove them, such as chimneys and pathways. Now these shotgun houses are perfect for small sort of rundown areas. I know not all of these are rundown, some are quite pretty, so gives you a great opportunity to add these into a number of different areas. Up next we have the Concrete Medium Barriers by That Evan. Now these are essential for anyone who's into their motorway building and detailing. These are both the central reservations as we would call them in the UK, both a double side and a single side cell with a adapter or whatever you want to class it as to merge the two into one. The textures of the concrete look absolutely amazing and certainly work well up against a highway. So if you're looking to expand your city this weekend, by all means download this pack so you can make your motorways look a lot more appealing. Keeping on the motorway theme we have these highway sign pack from the Clara edition which is a great and amazing map if you haven't seen that already. These have been built by both Creative Dex and Dekeza. Now these come in a number of different types. You have your downtown, you have your airport, you have your industrial area and you have your harbour. Both in a variety of different styles. You have the standard up ones which can go by the side of the road or you have your plaques that you can put up against your overhead barriers. And last but not least, I promised you somewhere to dip your toes, and that is all thanks to Ronix. He has created these outstanding pools to add to the workshop. Now, prior to Ronix's pools, we only had some very, very basic ones, and I think what the issue was is the water never looked like water. And as you can see from these screenshots, they do and half look absolutely amazing. The water effects are incredible. Now these are found under the park category in the game and include three pools with the fake water. I say fake water because you can't unfortunately add anything inside. But nonetheless, these are the most realistic pools on the workshop to date. So that brings us to the end of our weekly asset roundup. Please feel free to check the description below for all the links of the reviewed assets this week. And don't forget to check out the other items that these amazing creators have already created. And of course, let me know your thoughts on these reviewed assets or anything else you would like to see that's not currently on the workshop. As always guys, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching and all the best.